Hey guys, it's me PJ from PJ2482MCN and MaxRCNow.webs.com and I just finished recording my video of the summit update for MaxRCNow but um, this is just going to be a video of um, me talking about RC so this may be a boring video but I just wanted to get a video that would be kind of like this so, as you can see in the back here, uh, are my sand paw, Proline sand paw tires for my Warrior Evader EXT 2.4. Um, if you don't, if you haven't seen any other videos, then that's his name, Warrior. He's not really called a Warrior, but here's one of their st his stock um, front front wheels and tire. Um, I took the bearings out because I put those in the new uh, Dirt Hog Proline Dirt Hogs, and they're in the they're in the stock wheels except they're chrome. Here are the multi wrenches that I got with the with the um, the Summit and the Evader. Um, there's not much of a difference. I mean, you can use this part for the wheels and the uh, on the summit. They're about the same size on some of them, but the smaller ones on the summit will not work with the with the evaders wrench. And the evaders one is a lot tougher and like thicker than the summit's wrench. Well, this is this is um. Warrior's transmitter. This is basically a Fly Sky transmitter, 2.4 gigahertz. Um, the foam little thing fell off because it's not glued and it doesn't stick on tightly. This is, let me just say, this is the same exact radio as the Axial AX3, uh, I think it's called, I'm not positive, but it's the exact transmitter that comes with, um, a lot of Axial products. It's just it's just marketed differently. It says Axial um, AX300 or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but it's the same exact transmitter. Whoops. Requires four double A's, which is not bad at all. That's pretty good actually. Um, something that broke for me was these little these little pins on the on the on the lid of the thing that locks it in there so it'll just come out it won't stay in there very well but here's all the trims which if you have seen RC preparations on Max RC now then you've seen all of these but these are all the plugs and um, on off switch well my dirt hog tires are dirt hog 2 Tires, ProLineRacing.com. Um, here's the box of the Summit. Here's the box of my new ESC and my Easy Peak Quick Charger. Here's my Yellow Bee, which is kind of a hobby slash toy grade. Uh, broke pretty easily. It wasn't that durable. So I got all duct taped. <laughs> There's my Sand Paws. There's the Summit. There's my White Stand. That's what's lighting this area up, because this is at my desk. It's not very bright over here. And what is holding the camera up is actually tape and my um, canister that I put my reptile calcium in. So I was I was at my local hobby shop the other day and I saw this uh, Duratrax um, 835E buggy. And it just stood out, stood out to me extremely. It was four hundred dollars, yes, but it was just really nice. Like it looked nice, and I talked to the people at the hobby shop about it, and they said it was extremely durable. And I got to hold it and feel it. It was like eight pounds or something. It was pretty heavy. A lot of it was aluminum. Um, it had great straps for the battery. It didn't come with a battery, and I calculated it. Um, you gotta get like a 4S or two 2S LiPos. So if I were to get 
the two 2S that I wanted, and then a, uh, a good LiPo charger. It would cost me uh, about 600 bucks for everything. So I'm actually trying to save up for that. Either that or a slash, but I'm really not sure if or when I'll, I'll get that. So I'm not 100% sure. So yeah. Um, my friend Harry who is also on some of my videos on both of our channels is in Block Island right now and this is just a little shout out. Hey Harry. Um, Block Island off of Rhode Island in the USA. So yeah. So thanks for watching everybody and Harry if you're watching um, thanks for watching also. So yeah. Bye.